Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Yep, this is pen light part I don't know because I made I made already too much videos of a pen light. Why? I don't know, because it's interesting, of course. It's the the story is actually getting very you know I know I'm getting very curious about the the plot of this game. But anyway, so um Last time we actually stopped where we had to choose to, uh, you know, make the succession option. I, I don't know what, what, what option was it again, but uh, we'll, we'll see about that. Let's do, uh, jump right into it. So, uh, yeah, make the succession to Hiroko. So this was the part where um, one of my fans told me to do. He comment, I'd really like to see the make the succession option, perhaps next build of this game? Uh, yes, that's what I'm gonna choose right now, the first option. <laughs> I just wanted to see how uh, how this will go actually. Let's see. I take one more quick glance behind me to make sure Notsumi is still distracted by her conversation with Miss Shiba before I make my move. Oh god. Her back is still turned, her focus still on our English literature teacher. So with my heart in my mouth, I lean in as close as I dare to Hiroko's slumbered head. So now, here you go. The next time you wake... wake you... Eh. <laughs> Damn, I can't speak. So now, here you go. The next time you wake, you will quickly realize that you enjoy being hypnotized. I calmly whisper a couple of quick phrases into her ear while I feel my blood pumping. You enjoy being hypnotized, so it's only natural that you will want me to hypnotize you again. You do seem to have a, a love for the convent, you know, if your writing assignments are anything to go by. Two quick yet potentially very powerful phrases, that's as much as I dared to try before. I stand up straight and take another nervous glance behind me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, but I shall let you get on. I think Koya uh, Koyama and Humura are getting restless over there. Ah, Nosumi wheels around to face me, her eyes widening as she notices Hiroko still sl slumbered in her, her chair. Just be sure to look up before the end of the hour and find me when you're done. Okay, uh, we, we did uh, the funny suggestion there. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. See you soon. Why that scared me? <laughs> Not me, size as Miss Shiba closes the classroom door on her way out. So here goes to hypnotized, huh? Swallowing dry light, I anxiously nod in my head. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I was waiting for you, obviously. Right. Sorry. I probably could have played that a little cooler, but I think those to me is too flustered about Mr. Steven to suspect anything from me. Well, don't keep her waiting any longer. Yes, ma'am. Nodding my head once more, I then lead towards Hiroko and lay a hand on her shoulder, just to make sure she knows I'm talking to her again after the commotion. Now, Hiroko, in a few moments, I'm going to wake you up from this state of hypnosis you're currently in. When you wake, you will find the session I made to you about not being able to speak has now completely dropped from my from your mind. So you'll be able to talk again without restu <laughs> restrictions. Understand, Hugo? Understand. I hope you do, Hiroko. I hope you understand. I only want you to lose that one specific session. Good, Hiroko. That's very good. I hope that in the back of uh, your mind, you realize that I still expect you to be participate in my private experiment with you. Now then, becoming wide awake and fully refreshed on the count of three. If I'm right, you'll be helpless to resist following those whisper words I gave you for as long as I want. On one, and that if you do, neither not me nor your conscious self will suspect a thing. Two, it will be a little secret between me and your subconscious self. Okay, Erico. Three. Uh, um, like, like what the, what the freak, Kyo? 
Hiko Rosa's lips to her feet like a caged animal having been suddenly and ex unexpectedly l <laughs> let loose. You, huh? I can't say stuff? Holy crap, I can say stuff again. Yes, you can now say bad words. You really want my channel to be demonetized, huh? Even though my gaming channel isn't, uh, a, I don't know, not a part of YouTube pro program, whatever that is. Mm-hmm. As not to mean Chunkles, Hiriko turns to her, the anger in her face quickly giving way to most curious expression. So, like, all that this now was hypnosis for real? Natsumi nods her head into enthusiastically. What? Yeah, hypnosis can be a lot of fun if you're willing to keep an open mind about it. Oh, well, I mean. Hiko shift nervously as he glances towards the guy who just hypnotized her. She looks confused at the sight of me now, conflicted even. I thought you handled yourself really well, didn't she, Kiyo? So what if I wait to give her subconscious a little reminder of what she's supposed to think now? Yeah, that, w that went great. Even I didn't know better, I'd even say Hiko may even enjoy being hypnotized. Uh, I don't... Uh? I watched as Hiko forms at me reflective reflexively only for her features to soften a little as she starts to seriously consider what I just said. Like don't get me wrong, it was kinda crappy making me think I lost my voice and all, but besides that it was sort of okay, I kinda enjoyed that sleepy s sort of feeling when, when he hypnotized me so... Doc me, do I seriously enjoy this crap? Oh god, we we made her enjoy this. Oh god, Hiko, what are you saying? Hiko turns to Natsumi once again like she's extremely confused by her own uh, admission. Uh, yeah, don't ask me why, but yeah, something about it's super agreeing with me, no doubt about that. But confused or not, she really did confess to liking this expression experience she couldn't reject the idea at all kind of makes me want to do it again <laughs> i'm so glad you're okay with this Hiroko. especially when you told me how nervous you were about doing this with q and it makes me crack another smile of my own this is going this is going great <laughs> yeah you did you did great uh, hell yeah well i ain't gonna let you down so even if it means I gotta do it with this jerk cough. Still in that attitude though, small victories I suppose. Come on, be nice, I just gave you an enjoyable experience, didn't I? Mm. So, we did kid you to show me just a little bit of respect for once. Hiko doesn't have a snappy comeback this time. Instead, she regards me with an almost Dubai expression, that inner conflict surely still raging in her confused mind. So it's time I really turn the screws on her. Hiko, if you're serious about doing this, we need to respect one another. Things could go really bad for us if we do this show and you, you've got any misgivings about this. Hypnosis is a mutual co collaboration between the hip hypnotist and the hypnotized after all so if you want me to hypnotize you again you could stand to be a little nicer to me uh i'll do my best as well i want this show to work just as much as you guys and we don't have time to be at the each other's throats I take a small step towards her and put on a smile in a way I hope will come off as a encouraging, encouraging. Oh my God! I don't even know if spelling that right. Well, workshop some other things for you to be under hypnosis. Things you're more uncomfortable with. 
Now we know you take well to being hypnotized. We could do all all sort of things for the show. So let's work on this together, alright? Not to me, I watch as Hiroko drops her head in the slow, meaningful nod as she seems to come around. <sighs> okay, yeah, makes sense to me. I think I've got her right where I want her. Like crap, no, not so. This stuff's got me busy. Huh? Yes, it's really something, alright. And watch more. It looks like Natsumi doesn't seem suspicious about Hiroko at all. So, alright, dude, you're on. So I really, I really did it. This is fascinating. If my bestie trusts your crap, then that's gotta be good enough for me. Uh, and you need another person to hypno in front of everyone. I'm your girl. My circular little experiment with Hiroko is looking for all the world to be a complete success. Let's docking do this. Hell yeah, let's do this. We needed to leave the classroom shortly after that. As thrilled as Natsumi was to have us all work, working together, she wasn't about to abuse the favor Mrs. Shibi did for us by overstanding our use of the room. But all things considered, I think we all learned a lot back there, me and Hugo specifically. Like seriously, a few flashes of light and few spoken words had her thinking scene was mute in no time at all. Excuse me. <sighs> I had to do that. A few secret whisper words in trance even had, had her thinking scene liked the idea of being hypnotized in spite of what we one went down. The level of hyp hypnosis that this penalty enables really can affect even the most uncomparative of minds in ways they could possibly have wanted. Is there really anything I can do with the personal mind using my pen light? Is there any limit to what this this thing can do? Maybe I shouldn't have done what I did back there. Maybe I've learned a little more about what this pen light can do in the most underhanded manner possible. But I gotta admit, it's hard to feel guilty when it's here to I'm doing it too now. Okay. I walked to school the next morning, feeling pretty positive. Classes are going to drag on again, no doubt, but thanks to not me, my after school activities are going to be a lot more fun. Hell, even Hiroko's probably going to behave herself now after her little brush with him noses yesterday. Hell yeah, there's a lot to look forward to. I walk into class with time to spare and seeing Notsumi and her friends chatting by their desk. I think to go over there and greet them. Good morning. Good morning, Q. Hey. Morning. Well, they greeted me back at least. Yeah, at least. Yeah, they, now they look like they're your friends. That's, that's actually pretty, pretty wholesome. How's it going? All good over here, they were just talking about you actually. Oh, really? Yeah, don't let it get to your head or something. Anything. We were just saying how it'd be good to have a little planning meeting over lunch so we can hit the ground running after school. Does that sound good to you? Sounds great, yeah. Alright then, good luck in class. Yeah, you two girls. We seat ourselves at our desk. And is this me or did I just handle myself pretty well talking to those girls just now? I'm feeling more positive by the minute. Hey! Okay, it's actually going really well for Kyo. Maybe it's my good mood, but the morning's lessons didn't seem that bad or even feel that long. I'm even a little surprised when the bell rings out for the start of lunch period. Alright, so shall we get started? And before too long, I'm back on the rooftop with Natsumi and the others. I shall be napping in the autumn sun if anyone needs me. Of course you will be sleeping. Look at your eyes. You Do you even get sl like sleep or something? 
Man, why do you even follow us any anyhow? Why indeed? Happy planning, you three. Uh, whatever. Well, anyway, I thought we could start with you here, girl. Uh, me? I find myself leaning as the pair of them talk. Hmm, are you still feeling good about doing the show with us? Needless to say, I'm really interested in Hiroko's feelings as well. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, why wouldn't I be? After all, I'm not quite done assessing the results of yesterday's experiment. Oh, I don't know, it's, well... Sometimes people say more weird things when they come out of the hypnosis. I've not had a chance to see if the hypnotic session I made with the pen I can last beyond an hour or more. Ooh, I don't know. So I want you to know, if you've had any second thoughts about it, it's okay. Is he still helpless to... Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't... Sorry about that. My yawning is just keeps coming even though i'm not tired but the yawning keeps coming i don't know it's it's a weird feeling is he still helpless to resist my secret suggestion to her subconscious even now man where's this coming from you know me i ain't gonna say crap that i don't mean yeah sorry i just i guess i'm still a little shocked that you actually liked it that's all here he could let out a slight chuckle as a smile spreads across her lips. You and me both. That was some freaky crap you guys pulled, but it was fun. Oh yes, those whispered words of mine are still living uncontrollably inside her head. Like man, I can't stop thinking about the last night. Just thinking about how trippy that all was when Kyu shined the light in my eyes. So I think I can safely conclude that my experiment has been a complete success. Well, this is quite a turnaround from yesterday, isn't it? However, this is not to me and I aren't the only ones assessing the situation with Hiroko. And you supposed to be napping? I am napping, and I am also listening. So would you mind telling me what happened? Man, why do you even care? Don't you think that's a waste of time anyway? Perhaps I can be convinced otherwise with the telling. Ugh, whatever. So yeah, Kiyu did some trick with the light and put me to sleep with it. And when I woke up, it's like he took the vocal curls right out of me. Is that so? So it looks to me as do the others as I find it. It impossible to keep the smell off my face. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. She was running her mouth off, but she wasn't making a sound. I see, well, as it happens, I spent a few minutes looking into the sub subject of taste hypnosis last night. From what little I learned, I do understand that it requires a willingness on the part of the hypno hypnotized. Yeah, I get it. I went along and all, but crap, it freaked me out. Sorry, it's uncles. Oh my, this is rather intriguing. I had thought you will give all budding hip hypnotist here a lot more trouble. Yeah, it seems to me that you well hardly got into the spirit of what the and not me are doing. That's that's just it. I figured this is half. As a it, you know, play along and stuff, that's all I was gonna do. I was about to say that bad word, you know. But crap, I mean, but freak. Man, I don't know the instant the light hit my eyes, it's like some freak switch f uh, flipped in my brain and I forgot all about faking it. Seriously, you're just animating it? Like, duh, you really thought I was gonna take you serious? I was so ready to call bullcrap on the whole thing, but next thing I know, I'm waking up back in that chair and damn, dude, you really got me back there. And ever since then, I keep going back to it like over and over, almost like I'm trying to hypno myself. We really didn't think I'd um, enjoyed it so much. Sorry, Tops, uh, 
checked thoughtfully. I wonder if in the moment you felt more uncomfortable with the arrangement than you first realized. Perhaps after your fr frustration with the examinations, the temptation to simply zone out of for a while bec became like became a compelling one, regardless of the circumstances. Not to mention, you were not al alone with our will be have noticed. I imagine Osami's uh, presence was a uh, comforted in one. Crap, Sayo, I just don't know anymore. All I know for sure is I want to go again. Hmm. Mina suddenly shake of her head. Hiko then turns back to Nuts Nutsumi and me. So come on, what are we all doing for the show thingy? That's why we're here, right? <sighs> right. There's a moment silence as I look over my lunchtime compa companions. Although it seems like Nutsumi uh, was expecting me to say more in here because it's glares at me. Sayu appears to have gone back to her half napping. Alright then, well, before we plan anything, it's important to keep in mind, we only have about 20 minutes to do everything. Is that it? That's my gut reaction, I mean, when what we're doing that doesn't sound like enough time to do anything useful. You really didn't know? It's the standard time they give to informal groups like ours. Yeah, we ain't exactly the drama club over here. I could request more time, but I don't think the studio con control will approve it. Not to mention, 20 minutes is all Shatoshi had for his show last year. So we have to be prepared to hit the ground running. I shook my shit and nod. Really have to wonder how the Satoshi guy pulled it off in that time frame. Did he get lucky? Maybe... Maybe. He certainly didn't have a problem uh, working with me and the other volunteers he picked out. But looking back, that could've easily gone wrong. Yeah, if he picked someone who was thinking of messing with him on that stage, instead of actually taking part... Hey. Don't look at me when you say that. Well, I think it'd be a good idea if we had our volunteers picked out in advance. Huh? Why the hell do we need volunteers for? You saw what Shatoshi did, right? Picking out people from the audience is all a part of the show. That's how it's done. Hiko simply scoffs and rolls her eyes. Look, not so. You said, it, you said it yourself, we got 20 minutes to do this thing, why don't, why do you want to waste time with, with a bunch of randos? Seems Hiroko has her own ideas for our wrong time, how interesting. Besides, his show went all bad, why are you trying to do the same thing as Mr. Pocket Watch anyway? I know we wanted a range of hypnotic subject to test what my pen light could do. And this was the perfect opportunity, but even so... Wait, here you go. You're not suggesting? I like where this is going. Just do all that stuff with me, you know, I'm good for it. You... you're saying you want to do everything? Freak yeah, I mean... What are you gonna do when these guys in 20... Uh, in 20 anyways what if you get a bunch of fakers like this dude saying well that's why i said we should pick them out before the show who do you think is gonna do it for us not sure and even if they did do you reckon they'll be on my level when they're up there in front of fox face it you guys can do way cooler stuff if it was just me. None of that lame crap, it clucked like a chicken crap. Oh, come on. For real though, just let me practice uh, practice, and I'll make some jaws drop, you'll see. Do you even know what you're saying now? You're talking on a lot of pressure for is this a culture fast show. I just, I just like this stuff, okay? I told you yesterday, I'm your girl. 
You know, Hiroko does make a very good point. You really think so, Sayori? After all, time and against you and introducing v uh, variables into your uh, routine by including unproven volunteers will absolutely complicate things. A more, a more closely, uh, wait, what? A more, a bush. I can't speak. What the hell? A more closely knit organization will be easier to plan around, and it leaves you more time for the actual performance you were intending. So, what argument is there against in indulging or overly <laughs> enthusiastic friend here? Enthusiastic, into words. I, I, I need to learn how to pronounce that, I swear. Hmm, well. Nosumi then looks to me exasperatingly like she's expecting me to pour cold water on Hiroko's big idea. Q, what do you think? But I've already made him up my mind. If Hiroko wants to be the star of the show, I'm all for it. Just so long as she knows I'm going to be hypnotizing her a lot between now and the big day. Um, right, yeah, obviously. Is that what you want, Hiroko? Hiko looks to me as I test her, rubbing the back of her head as her eyes seem to flicker with the moment in this indecision. Uh, yeah, if not us with me, then school go nuts. But she was never going to say anything else, if anything. If anything. I think this conversation has only reinforced her subconscious desire to follow to on what I told her earlier. Alright, so. How about this? I'll focus our experiments on you, Hiroko. We use the literature club room again, and me and Hiroko can uh, pra practice some more. I could try taking it deeper this time, I get her really in the zone, and then we can do something cool with that. I've already got some ideas. And boy, do I have ideas. What do you what do you two think about that? Well, alright, we can definitely use Mr. Super's room ag again after club. Yeah, I'm feeling bumped, let's do it. A first note, and that's where I'm going to have a leave it for now. For the next scene, in case it wasn't obvious, we'll be going back to the literature club classroom for Kyo to ramp up his hypnotic sprints on Hugo. Oh, okay, I see. I'm thinking they'll get to to doing two things, one fairy save and saying that other. Well, let's go. Other while we notice me intently enthusiastic about dropping her friend into the hypno fun only for a double to creep it as things get dangerous. I'm also externating Exterminating the thought of Sayori joining them. She volunteered to watch them in the other scenario after all. And a standard voice may perhaps be required uh, be to bring everyone down to earth before it gets too crazy. Anyway, feel free to share your thoughts about all of this in the usual channels while waiting the next release. No! <laughs> to be continued. No, no, why, why? I need more. I need more. Wow. Um. At least we got them. Um, not a happy ending, but like a curious ending, I'll say. Uh. Yeah. I didn't expect this, but I may try the other option tomorrow. It depends. Uh, not, not tomorrow. Like in the next video. I mean. Sorry. So. Um. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video, I really appreciate it. I wonder how this will go next. Uh, this was a very interesting ending to do, I'll be honest. Like, they're playing all of this thing, but uh, we kind of cheated because we we told her the suggestion or something. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, make sure to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.